Dead Rising 4 is also out this week. Boy, it is. Yeah, I've played some of that. <laughs> I played a little bit you, of that. You played a little bit. I think I, I, I'm like five hours into it or something. Vinny, you watched. I watched you. Yeah, I watched I, really quick. quick too. I, I probably, I probably played about like the first hour or so. Yeah. Maybe something like that. I played Case Zero. Okay. So I mean, you basically got to the point where the open world starts opening up. Yeah. And, and so while and, you're and stuck weirdly in, enough, that was the spot where I was like, yeah, okay. you're stuck in you're stuck in the mall for that first real case. And then case two is so like, you go oh, outside open, the mall. They open okay. the rest of the city up. Okay. Yeah. So you start to your Frank West back at Willamette. Yeah. But my man, Hank East, Hank East. Yeah. <laughs> Frank West has to go underground for a little bit. He's wanted by the feds. So you were trying to explain this to me. He is a professor. Of, He's like a community college professor or something. Of now. Like journalism. Uh, so yeah. this game is fucking weird is because it like a community college, not like uh, a prestigious. I don't think they say, but it, they they very much portray him as like down on his luck and awesome. just sort of like okay. like when he's on the run later in the game as Hank East for like all of like fifteen seconds. It's not that big a deal, but yeah. like he is like teaching night school. Right. Awesome. Right. Okay. He's like Good. like because I mean, they talk about like like oh you know you got the congressional medal of honor for saving Willamette the first time or like he's. Former glory, but disgraced and sort of down on his luck. Frank West. Uh, and haven't then, heard that name in years. <laughs> yeah. In the canon of Dead Rising, this is the latest timeline. It's like, a sequel. It's it's like after three. The first game happened. Okay. Presumably all the games happened, but they yeah. don't really mention anything. So about, there was like, zombie well, outbreak. They, they don't mention Zombrex, which I don't think yeah, came up in that's Dead right, Rising. That's right. That's right. You so, do you do see right. like a stack of Zombrex so, at one point. But also the state of the uh, world at this point is like there is a vaccine for zombieism, right. and like, no one is a zombie anymore. Or like like, be. like the entire they? the entire world was was required to be inoculated against the zombie virus or whatever. Okay. So, but but there are zombies, so they're okay. all what the fuck? But how are they? How are there zombies? Are they like Resident Evil Four? Like not zombies? Zombies. No, they're, they're we'll certain, no, they're it's the same zombies. strain. And it's it's a similar strain at least, but like there's uh, okay. the, the so the whole opening of that game is you like investigating some secret facility near Willamette right. and discovering like what the fuck they are doing experiments on zombies here. Because you mentioned like you one of your students, yeah, like you you, you have off? you have a student who finds out about this stuff because she listens to podcasts and like <laughs> conspiracy conspiracy theory, theory stuff. And the sh- are and you she's like we got him to go? Yeah, or? he's he's like ah fuck that, I'm not going back to Willamette, and okay. she kind of drags him into it. Okay, uh, so this is like a 28 days later thing where like yeah. they go in trying to you know sort of break up and and stop these these evil experiments and he then just they want- un- actually accidentally unleash it frank west just wants to get paid ah. like he just wants to get the photos and, and okay. sell them to the inquirer yeah, like someone he's like we're gonna get a bunch of money and i'm a scumbag but so, kind of so that's his mo that's the thing is uh, that like okay. this thing in terms of the way frank west is cast and written and also in terms of the mechanics like it's like the least dead rising game that has come out under the name dead rising so far but does it still have the super goofy stuff because i remember like in the trailer he's there's, driving crazy there's vehicles plenty, around there's plenty that. of goofy stuff but okay. it's like it's it's the stuff from three that was goofy extended out like okay. the stuff from the one and two that stuff? was goofy is all but gone at this point like huh. time mechanics totally gone I'm I'm into that. I'm I, I'm not man. Like, that's I, I, part I of Dead Rising for I, me. I, I like I, part of Dead Rising, but that was always the one overarching thing that like I didn't like about Dead Rising. Mm, like being able to miss stuff. I just I think there there are so many other games of that nature that don't have that stuff. Out, I wanna, like I, I want to build weapons and vehicles and shoot the shit out of stuff, run over people and have fun doing it. I don't want that constant ticker mm. I, I reminding felt, me that I have a fucking deadline. But I felt like they did a good job of splitting the difference, at least, when he got to, it like, got three. Yeah. yeah, like, yeah. one one I appreciate because of just how unforgiving that fucking thing was. <laughs> yeah. uh, it's some, still one of the most tense games I've tried to review in, a, you know, a weekend. Sure. Uh, but I also realized that most people didn't really like that that much. I the fact that they removed it at altogether yeah. is just like I feel like maybe a step too I far. I, 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 I've be. I've seen people saying that it's coming in a DLC or something, but that I mean, yeah. that's I mean there was, relevant. I mean, if the game's not built for it, right. like yeah. slapping right. an arbitrary timer yeah. on it, like that that seems like the worst way to go. There about was it. Yeah. The, so. there was a puzzle element to one that was like, how can you possibly? I, yeah. Yeah, yeah, like I the time I the time management aspect of like, well, these guys, I've got three minutes left to save these survivors, or they're going to die. But then I've got this other thing I need to do. And if like but that. I just want to take a bucket and put like power drills in sure. it and put it on a zombie's head. That's, I, I, that's all I want yeah. to do. I, I'm kind of with you, but there were, there was something about one where it felt really designed, like because you're going to start over five times, right? Yeah, like, yeah. To kind of keep your progress, and that, yeah. Keep and that's something up, that and, like yeah. took forever to like get into my head. It's like why I, why do I have to like end so, the game and start over? So again? I feel like they've yeah. gone too far in the other direction with this because it's it's an it's an easy game. Like you level up like crazy. You're constantly oh. getting skill points. Like I haven't died yet. Like it's just it's mm-hmm. not difficult at all. Does it have the uh, the combo weapon still? Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. kind of the thing they've doubled down on. Okay, uh, awesome. there's. Well, I don't know about double down. It's just it's here again. Like, Can you right. do that they, anywhere, or is that like it's yeah? There's no benches. workbench stuff. Okay. It's just you do it wherever you find the stuff. And okay. there was an upgrade uh, that you had that was cool that 
let you combo. You only have to have one of the weapons in your yeah, inventory. Yeah, you can get an upgrade where if it's just laying in the ground, you yeah. can just use it on the ground. That was cool. Because you have very limited inventory. I, I think that's like, 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 yes, that's cool. It's also really lame that, that that's an upgrade. Like and the idea of like, enough. oh, I have to, like. You need something, right? Well, I guess. But like the alternative is like, okay, well, I have to drop one of these items on the ground and then pick this up to make the combo weapon, then pick this item back up. I mean, that's what like, was that's in... just a clunky, dumb thing that they should have like solved. That was in three, I think. And not had mm-hmm. like a, a skill upgrade to like get around their <laughs> kind of point. shitty inventory system, yeah. you know? Or, right. It's like when you get an upgrade to run. Yeah. And it's like, right. no, please. Yeah. Uh, the other thing that I thought, or that you mentioned in the time you played, that I would be sad to not see is the uh, absence of the psychopath. Yeah, I, I, yeah. Like I can't. Piece. I can't say for a fact they're not in there, but I'm on the third case file right now. Like I'm at least like five hours into the game, and I haven't seen a single one yet. So no, but I, I have seen. I have seen or? what you would call a boss encounter okay. because they're like unique enemies with a health bar over the head. But there's no cutscene, no like build oh, up, no yeah. name or dialogue with them. They're not even that weirdly designed. They're just kind of like slightly beefier versions of existing enemies. Hmm. Um, some of the most memorable stuff in the yeah, previous. Totally, yeah, totally. So like I, there may be some stuff like that in there later, but it seems like no, because these, and, and they're not even hard. They're like super, most of the like bosses that I've seen so far took like maybe 30 seconds to kill. Just like bigger life bars. Yeah, yeah. Part. yeah. What was so fun in the previous ones is when you were walking into an area and it wasn't like this predetermined boss fight thing. It was like, oh, there's a crazy guy with a motorcycle yeah. with chainsaws on yeah. it around here. Like, I don't think I'm ready for this area next. Right. Or now, but it sounds like now it's predetermined. These are all, like, hey, these, here's the boss fight. These, these are all in the critical path of the story. Like, yeah. It's just yeah. like, okay, I have to beat this guy to open this door and get to the next area. Yeah. Like, I loved that aspect of the old ones of just like stumbling into. Like, oh, like, shit. oh, I walk into this Italian restaurant and holy shit, there's a crazy chef in here who's cutting up people and eating yeah. them. Like, fuck. I'll come back later for yeah, this guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man. So, like, I haven't seen much of that. Like, the writing is definitely still irreverent. Like, it's pretty funny, I think, for he, the most part. Seemed, yeah, Frank seems pretty funny. Like, that's the seen. weird thing. It's like, so it's a different voice actor and, like, a very different voice actor. Like, he sounds absolutely nothing like the old guy. Uh, and, and he's written a lot differently like he's a lot more of just kind of a bitter old asshole like this is the way they kind of described it was that it wasn't that they were ignoring the old frank west but they were kind of rebooting frank west as a so. different yeah. slightly or, different thing or they said they wanted to sound wanted him to sound like older and edgier or something mm-hmm. like that is he less dan Aykroyd now yes okay. so that's the Damn thing it. that's the thing like old frank west was like kind of hapless oaf but like kind of lovable right yeah, yeah. This, this guy there's nothing lovable about this guy uh-huh. like, he's just a dick like i don't but want... he's got a, he's a funny dick but like but i don't want like the wacky version of joel from the last of us you know like yeah. I, it's not what i'm after yeah. what i'm after is that sort of like <laughs> lovable doofus like he like as he's written i think he works fine it's okay. just it's just it's you know if you have to separate him from what frank west used to be sure. like any kind of he works on his own merits but not necessarily as a continuation you still have a camera uh, get pp you can still yeah you still take pictures of stuff there's a really good selfie mode yeah <laughs> pretty good stuff. Uh, yeah that, really I, good i was actually surprised to see the camera stuff because for whatever reason i i maybe it was just as people were talking about how much of a departure this was yeah. i feel like i heard that there was no photography in mm. this game which, yeah yeah that's that's, that's like that's, one of the old elements but, they have but, retained yeah. I like uh, that selfie. Mode. And then they add a, a spectrum analyzer to the camera, which you then use. So, like, sometimes you'll walk up to a keypad and you can't get in. Yeah. Because you have to look at it with your camera for four seconds and then you can get yeah, in. Like it hacks, hacks, hacks yeah, like it hacks stuff with the camera. Because you're hacking stuff. But there's no, there's no mini game. There's no, that, it's just like, hey, how about we make it opening this door take a little bit longer for you? Is, is it a load with, thing? Is it like massive? I don't think it's time. Time. Oh, no, no, You don't start with that? You don't get, yeah, that you, get the, you get all the camera stuff in the tutorial. But that's a little weird. Yeah. I thought that yeah. would be something that they roll out. Yeah, it's like, not like, oh, now I can open these doors. Yeah, it's just like, areas. oh, well, I don't have yeah. the password to this. I need to look at this keyboard for a little bit. And now I have the password to this. That it's just kind of... Kind of yeah, like that's it's what it's one of the things. Just like if in a game where it seems like they're kind of streamlining so much of Dead right, Rising, right? Like there's little stuff like that where you're like, this just adds time for yeah. no good reason. I wonder if yeah. like once upon a time you did have to do some right. kind of mini game. They're like, this is not fun. Well, like it, 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 it barely adds like flavor, it. right? Like to that's, it, that's know, what tripped like us up in that investigation yeah. in the quick look because it looked Switching like modes. it looked like one of those sections where you needed to use the the analyzer to unlock a thing. Like to me, that makes perfect sense if it's like a thing you find that gets you into super secret rooms. I know you get it. You get it. All the camera stuff like five minutes into the game. Um, that yeah, did, like that didn't seem very fun. Eh, it's oh. they're, they're, those second sequences are usual, usually okay. fine. They just you know, or if you were short. just using it to find collectibles. That yeah, were, there there is some of that. Yeah. There are secret like hidden optional areas yeah. you can use it for. But oh so. right, and they've got like weird Batman crime scenes in yeah. that game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 
Um, where it's just zombie like, crimes like you walk into a room and you're just like there are clues here and you have to pull out your camera and, and like, it'll eventually beep as you get close and it'll highlight it you have to take a picture of these three things before you can move on huh. so you, uh, and, and you're making multiple safe houses right like it yeah there are like area. safe there are shelters around the map that you I think there's only like four in the game looking at the map but you you <clears throat> clear those out of zombies and they become safe places for survivors that you find to go to and then as you rescue survivors and they go there those shelters will level up and then the vendors there will sell better stuff mm-hmm. huh. do you have to escort survivors no, or they'll no. always make there's it? zero aspect of like saving oh, wow. people oh like, wow every survivor i've found they've every encounter has been exactly the same they're standing on top of a thing screaming kill like 20 zombies around their feet or around the base of the thing they're standing on they're like yay thanks and they run off and they usually make it it's not you like... do, there is no aspect of escorting them they like okay. vanish into the crowd immediately. oh wow and, right. and then they're just and, and then your shelter immediately upgrades as soon as you save huh. them i'm trying to remember how like that, that stuff is three. very because like escorting uh, was a, such a huge part of one yeah. two i yeah. can't remember if three toned down that stuff yeah now I'm, it's totally gone I feel like it, trying to remember. it was yeah. definitely toned down i don't remember how much you had to do to get them back still totally there though like I, I yeah there were they definitely were. survivors yeah. you had to rescue in three i just yeah. can't remember and they like, would actually like physically walk back to their house or whatever yeah because yeah. i thought you could them. give them weapons yeah yeah yeah, yeah. 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 Hmm. it's huh. hard to remember yeah like that's all gone like those encounters are brain dead simple like you just go kill two dozen zombies are they just uh, so basically have they just tried to streamline yeah, it, dead rising yes. as much as it, humanly it possible feels, to fit it into the open the current open world genre it feels super streamlined and a little mm. bit stripped down for did sure. you ever like, figure out what the multiplayer was not yet okay I've, I've i only played it before release so i didn't have a chance to go it just, online it, just, with it. it seems like the like the things in that game that make it the things in dead rising that make it dead rising are the things that they largely stripped yeah. out yeah that's how it feels like it's not a bad game on yeah. its own merits like it seems like a pretty decent open world game with some decent humor and like it's you know dynasty warriors level just fucking hack and slash through hundreds of guys that's fun. Uh, that's fun to me. But mechanically, yeah, a lot of the a lot of the unique Dead Rising aspects of it have been super suppressed Weird. to the point that it. And so, I hate to call it generic, but like it's kind of moving in that direction a little. So the bit. multiplayer is different. Like there's no co-op uh, I, campaign, right? Did you confirm that? Like I, I read, I, I read that. I, yeah. I, I read that the campaign co-op was gone, but then those the like challenges there's for the multiplayer, multiplayer stuff, stuff made it but, sound like you do some of the story stuff in multiplayer or something. I'm not. I'm not sure what the nature of that stuff is. Hmm. I've only ever played those games single player anyway, so. I was bummed out that on your upgrade tree, I did not see like suplex yeah, or yeah. pile driver. Yeah, like it. The, it's it seems all geared around the crafted weapons. Like yeah. you've got you've got melee shooting and then throwing crafted Some of that weapons. Stuff was, and like all the skills unlocks seem I, just geared around I, making those more powerful. I'm sorry, man. Like I I love the cre- the cobbled together weapons. I think that shit is great. But if I can't do a fucking spinning lariat to yeah. some zombies, yeah. then fuck that. Yeah, like, yeah. like the, it, yeah, having the suplex and stuff was like key. Does it have the goofy wardrobe stuff and wearing yeah. Mega Man hats uh, and all that? Yeah, stuff? Yeah, but all I've found so far are like Capcom nostalgia pieces. It's like huh. the vendors have like here's a Ryu shirt and an Akuma shirt. Oh, you found That's all they the, have left. Are I found the Akuma <laughs> costume, Skin, yeah, the full-on yeah. costume. That was pretty good, but uh, but I, I, you didn't do like a fireball. Like, or can anything, you like do a raging demon? I don't, I don't to think a so. Fucking it, didn't, zombie. It, didn't, it didn't say anything about that. If you can, there's gotta be something. I, I assume there's more out there. Like <laughs> yeah. uh, I haven't explored the whole mall yet because they send you out of the mall. Oh, uh, really? The story does pretty quickly. Um, Remember getting that Mega Buster? It was a kill of five million zombies. You just run over them in the basement or something like yeah, that. Just do laps yeah. in the basement. Yeah. You get to get yeah. the car. Yeah. yeah. Yep. <laughs> Uh, the bowling one, bowl over ten of them with one bowling ball. I like make a note of like one of the few video game things that uh, will be stuck in my mind forever. Which is spending yeah. hours oh in the God. basement yep. doing donuts. I never, I never did that. Garage. Was that, it worth it? Yeah, I did yeah. that. Yeah, okay. No. Zombie genocide, I think achievement. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, is that what it was? Yep, okay. yep. Fifty three thousand something. Just throw on a podcast and go. It was the, what is it? the population of the town. Yeah, you're yeah. supposed to kill the population yeah. of the yeah. town yeah. in yeah. zombies, oh, like gotcha. the real life town. Yeah. Um, not to not to like just unleash a litany of grievances about this game, but it's fucking dark. Like and not like tonally, but right, like actually. I mean, just like the visuals, like yeah. it's so dim everywhere you go. It's like hard to see. I will say that like that was a game that w- w- at the opening when it was like adjust this until you can yeah. barely see the thing. Yeah. Like barely see the thing was like seven like two thirds of the way, up of the way up for me. And I have and I have since moved the gamma even higher since <laughs> I've been playing it. Like yeah. I've got the gamma almost maxed and it's still huh. hard. It's it's just like a lighting thing. Like big parts of the game are just like poorly lit to the point that it's hard to see stuff. It's, not in a fun way. I didn't know. It seems I don't know if it's intentional or not but it really kind of hampers put your night vision on i thought that was kind of part of the charm of the first couple is that you know you're in these bright like mall christmas areas or a a casino or something yeah but then all this dark violent shit's happening yeah totally that 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 weird contradiction was kind of key to the weird charm of those games and yeah it just doesn't have that look anymore Mm -hmm. Uh, 
I, I'm I'm enjoying it. Like on its own merits, it's not a bad game. It's 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 pretty fun. You like three, right? Yeah, yeah. It, just, it seems I, very similar. Three, uh, yeah. It doesn't seem as robust as three. It doesn't seem to have as much going on. Mm-hmm. I just feel like I don't with all the open world games that are currently floating around out there. I don't feel like I need an okay another Dead Rising in my life. You know, yeah. like I I it's just not necessary. If there's something some hook there that makes it exceptional in some way, then sure, I'll totally go back. But like. I don't know. Like the idea of just another open world game that has some Dead Rising flavoring in it is not not exciting to me. This looked like Dead Rising three two. Yeah, kind of. Like, yeah. But, yeah. but again, it feels less Dead Rising than three did. You think even yeah, more? Yeah. yeah. I didn't make it through three. It's like three, I like three here. Yeah. yeah. Like I, three I, still three still had the psychos. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Three yeah. had some, like, t- some time stuff. Uh, yeah, totally. Three had characters from from one and two show up. Uh, it felt more connected to the previous games than this one does. Mm. But I think this one is set like significantly yeah, after those it's like, games. It's too, like fifteen. Right? Uh, it's it's set in like twenty twenty one. I think yeah. so. It's yeah. It's like fifteen years after Dead Rising one. Um, like Frank West, War Frank it. West is in his fifties. If that tells you anything, like yeah. his, his, his little dossier, he's like fifty two. <laughs> I, I had high hopes for it out of the gate because yeah. there's like a, a dream sequence that opens the game, mm. and like it is you in the mall running around killing a bunch of zombies. As but a then flashback, it's, yeah, as a flashback. But then you're hearing Frank West quotes. And he's just like, I covered wars, you know, like all yeah, the dumb yeah. fucking like, like greatest echoing. hits. It's, it's, it feels full on like uh, uh, Dickens, like huh. go, ghosts of Frank West past <laughs> floating around, like like yelling out your history. It's, it's, so you're back in Willamette. Is the yeah. mall gone? It's a new mall. It's, a new it's, mall. A, it's the Willamette Memorial. <laughs> the mall. It's the Memorial Megaplex, yeah, which Megaplex, I think is one right. of the funniest things yeah. in that game. Um, <laughs> um, also, like everybody became zombies on Black Friday. Like they were all lined up at the mall Tell for Black Friday it. sales, Tell and and that's when they unleashed the virus. Oh. Yeah, it right. Sounds like there's some like the, funny the, stuff. The uh, opening of that game has like there's like an animation sequence that like so you like you play the opening and then like there's a, a a cut in time, but it's like has this animation sequence of Black Friday and it's just people trampling each other and being shitty, not zombies. And then all of a sudden, oh wait, they're all zombies. <laughs> like okay. like there's yeah. a the, I feel like they did that which I feel before. like they don't explicitly yeah. they don't they aren't maybe super explicit about like oh by the way there was a huge zombie outbreak mm. so when you, I found get, a, you get to the bit where where the character Brad comes yeah. in and tells you, by the way, the zombies are back and they're suppressing it. You're like, right. oh, is that what that cutscene was supposed to convey? Because it was not great at doing <laughs> oh, that. Yeah. Is, yeah. is the premise we're going with here that the true zombie virus is capitalism? Is that is that what they're trying to get across here? It's heady shit, man. Yeah. I mean, I think that was like Dead Rising 1. Like, kind of... Was it? Chop till you drop, right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Right? Um, <laughs> um, well, all right then. The best thing about the get well... I mean, again, it's not a bad game. Like, I, I'm enjoying it. I, I was, I was, thing, I left off, and, and but I definitely like had hit a point where I'm like, actually, I kind of do want to see some more of yeah, this. Yeah, I, I, I need to finish this game just to see what they have done with it. Yeah, Xbox top One to bottom. and PC. Yeah, so not cross. If I've got this straight, game. so yeah, it's not a play anywhere game. So you either buy it on PC or on Xbox, and that's all you get. Also, Is it in the Windows Store. Yeah, so it's mm-hmm. uh, if I understand correctly, it's Xbox exclusive for a year and Damn. 90 day exclusive on the Windows Store. And then possibly Steam. So it should be on. <clears throat> the implication is it would be on Steam in ninety days. Oh, I'm um, sorry. Okay, so on the PC, it is Windows Store exclusive for, for now, three months. For, for three months, and and presumably, I guess there would be a PS4 version. In it's a, a year. weird exclusive, kind of. Yeah. yeah, on the PC side. Um, I mean, I guess they want to push their store, but maybe. Like, but I, who, who knows if this is maybe a Street Fighter Five situation of like maybe they weren't going to make a Dead Rising Four. I thought that was Microsoft. the whole point with Dead Rising Three. Is yeah, that Microsoft, Microsoft. Like Microsoft came in and said like, "Hey, we want a thing." <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like Microsoft, like straight up published four yeah. or three. Um, it's weird though, because if it were, if I could buy it in the Windows, like uh, Gears, if I could do a similar purchase like that and get it on Xbox One, yeah, I would buy it today right. on the Windows Store. Right, but I might wait, might now wait for wait for Steam and we'll get it on Steam. Yeah, so kind of work for me at least. Work yeah, I can, plus it might be cheaper by then. 